Hello, good morning, happy Friday. Um, so I'm trying to come up with like different themes for the day that helps me think of what to post to you guys because there's like a plethora of options. Um, and I'm trying to keep it fun, right? So you guys want to tune in. So I thought maybe today would be Farm Friday. So I'm out on my farm feeding my pigs. That's Fiona. Uh, that's Figgy over there. And that's Timber. So this is our first lesson for today because when I'm out, you know, farming around, um, and I'm not a legit farmer, like this is like a hobby farm, like I have pretty lawn ornaments that I call pigs. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> when I'm out on the farm, I think of like different lessons. So like one day I was pulling weeds in my garden and I thought, oh, I should do a training on growing your business like a weed. <laughs> You guys, because weeds, and I, this is going to be a, a training one day, but weed root systems are like crazy ridiculous and those bitches do not let go. I was trying to pull this weed and I was like ba basically breaking a finger trying to dig in there to get that weed out of the ground. And I'm getting totally distracted from today's lesson because I'm here with my pigs and as you can see, they have been swapping bowls back and forth like... When I introduced you to Timber, he was pushing Fiona out of her bowl. Anyway, so be a pig, right? When you don't like or you don't have enough in your bowl, you run to another bowl, right? So that's what the pigs do. They switch back and forth until they find what works for them. And, you know, it's a little little manic and I wish they didn't do that but it applies to our business right if you are not happy with what is going on in your business run over and start another dish right keep putting um oh planting seeds so many farm references keep planting the seeds because um, the more seeds that you plant the more likely they are to sprout oh which reminds me of another thing now my corn is far away from here but another day I will tell you about the corn because when we first planted the corn we had so so many seeds, and I was like, Dan, we don't need to plant this much corn, but whatever, it's fine. Here nor there. So we planted like, I don't know, 36 seeds or something the way you're supposed to. You push a little hole in the ground, you space them out, you cover it back up, and quite frankly, my back was hurting and it was taking a really long time. And so after we did the first three rows, like the proper way, I was like, can't we just like sow the seeds, like just toss them abound? And yeah, so we did that and like, I don't know, however long it takes a seed to germinate, maybe seven or eight days later, all of the three rows that we planted came up beautifully, just the way they were supposed to. And the seeds that we kind of willy-nilly threw, there was like four that sprouted. But it wasn't too late, so we went back out and we plucked all the holes for all the random seeds and covered them up, and then they all ended up sprouting. So the lesson in that little farm situation was to do it right the first time, and then you don't create additional work for yourself. Um, but anyway, that's all I got for you guys this morning. I'm going to give you a little more view of my piggies because they're just the cutest. And now they're all sharing one bowl, so let that be our final lesson. There's always enough to eat for all of us. I hope you guys enjoyed my little farm Friday morning. I will come live to you guys again a little later today, um, but I wanted to make sure and get one up right away in case I forgot. <laughs> I hope you guys have a fabulous um, day. And if you have any questions for me, drop them here in the comments and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining. Happy Friday.